Hello everybody, my name is Brandon Duclo and I'm with Champion Solutions Group. Today we're going to go over an overview of the UCS Mini. The UCS Mini stays within the Cisco UCS blade chassis with an interconnected fabric interconnect directly on the back of it. This fits into a smaller form factor environment for a lot of the small and medium sized customers that aren't yet ready for the full fabric interconnect or the cost that comes along with it. This device is able to fit up to eight blade servers within the chassis itself and can scale out to an additional seven C-series rack servers within the 220 and 240 Cisco family. This gives you a unique environment where you can start off small and then grow as your business starts to expand out. One of the huge features of this system is that we're able to directly connect storage or even go with the traditional converged architecture where we do fiber channel or NFS storage off the back of the device. We'll get into that a little bit more. So off the back of the device is the built-in third generation fabric interconnect. This device has four ports that are 10 gigabit that are unified ports. These can be utilized for an uplink. They can be directly attached to the UCS C-series servers or set up as an appliance port for NFS storage or SIF storage or something like that type. So for an example, you can launch a NetApp, a tin tree or something to the back of the device and an exit as well. And nothing leaves the back plane of the box. There's also an additional QSFP Plus port that comes out that does a many to one connection and breaks into four 10 gigabit connections. This is a license port and the licensing scheme follows the same as a traditional UCS. So if you need to activate those ports, you can do them one at a time or you could do all eight at once depending on the licensing schemes. The great thing here is everybody thinks that this device has a small throughput and they're incorrect there. This device has 500 gigabits per second off the back of the fabric interconnect which is huge when you're talking about local storage and local devices connected to it where you're not having to go out to a layer 3 network you can come right off the back of the ECS Mini. It's also scalable in terms of the number of VLANs you can put physically on that layer 2 interconnect as well. You have 200 locally on that device. As for storage support, we can see that the UCS Mini is no small player. It goes into the same thing that the greater, larger UCS with the separate fabric interconnects can go into, as well as the C-series flights. You can directly connect off to the back of the fabric interconnect, or you can go up to a traditional core switch, or in some cases into an MDS switch or another fabric switch if you're utilizing fiber channel. The UCS Mini can expand up to eight blades locally in the rack and seven rack mount servers. It's all centrally managed through UCS Manager, which is a central platform that this is managed through. There's no issues with getting to where you need to or distributing policies out. You can do everything right from that one blade and then mirror it across to your different settings. Here's some use cases that we've gotten from Cisco and some of our customers is showing kind of where this platform can be utilized at and how scalable it is. If you're a healthcare company, this can be utilized one, to be able to spin up equipment fast. If you need the ability to go for a DR site or anything locally, you can condense it down to the UCS Mini. In this case, the customer went from 36 rack servers to just one UCS Mini. This was able to recapture 25% of the data center space along with some huge power savings. And they only had a two-person IT team to be able to accomplish all of this, which is huge because the centralized management in the UCS is far simpler than it was when it first came out. Another example is the service provider. Peak 10 utilized the UCS mini servers along with NetApp storage and Nexus switches to be able to launch out to their customers for one hosted storage and hosted communications with their UCS platform. This gave customers peace of mind because it could quickly turn out new equipment just by adding a single blade and assigning a profile. Everything else was done with the original setup. Looking at the public sector, this is a great fit there as well. So we could go ahead and once again, the UCS Mini shows that we're able to decrease the space needed. We cut down on maintenance costs by simplifying everything into the Cisco platform. It's just one maintenance contract with world-renowned Cisco tax support for everything. The Cisco UCS Mini has many different solutions. One is for the remote office or a branch office where you need that, that additional compute and storage footprint. We're able to launch out a UCS Mini out there with a very low price cost, along with launching out any additional storage you need there as well for it. 
So we can easily carve that up into a DR office or we can carve that up into a remote branch office without any problems. This is also great for VDI use cases where we need something that's a separate workload that we want to devise off. We don't have a very large need for all the compute in the process. We could split that off onto its own cluster with ECS. And with the mini, everything is built in directly to the box. We connect directly to the storage locally. So we're getting the best of both worlds in terms of throughput and bandwidth. This is also a great fit for medium-sized customers that don't have a lot of capital that they'd like to get into the UCS platform to start. This is a great platform to grow off of and can eventually grow into the full-size UCS platform by adding additional fabric interconnects and migrating workload. So this is something we are able to do with the small mini version and be able to build up into the eventual later versions.